Hi guys, sorry it's taken me um, about a week to get this video um, up and done. This is a video in response to a question we had following a, uh, a Wednesday youth group, which was, how can I get my friends to see that Jesus is the truth? This is a really uh, tough question, but I'd like to start just with an overarching statement that is, don't feel that it is your burden to make your friends see that Jesus is the truth. Your responsibility is to point the way to the Bible, to Jesus, and the Holy Spirit has the job of convicting that person. And that is clear throughout the Bible. We see that it is the Holy Spirit that shows truth. Okay, but notwithstanding that statement, there's a couple of things just to also think about. Always present facts with love. If you get into a debate with somebody about something theological, you can often, in my experience, get frustrated because people aren't agreeing and they may feel aggressive about things you're discussing. Always respond with love. As Ravi Zacharias would say, you've got to always think about the questioner behind the question. Also, if um, someone has particularly strong views, maybe of a different um, faith, We've always got to be respectful um, of their views. But I would again turn to Ravi Zacharias for some, um, some wisdom here. And he says that every worldview, every faith has to account for the following four things. And that is the question of origin, meaning, morality and destiny. So origin, where are we from? Meaning, what is the purpose of life? Morality. How does that worldview account for morals, for us knowing right and wrong, and destiny? What happens next? So in questions or debates you're having with friends, just open up questions around those four subjects and see what they can come up with for how their thoughts of the meaning of life or other worldviews um, you know, answer those things. Um, and uh, the last thing is always be ready you know, to have good responses and to, to be able to turn to the Bible, but actually not always to the Bible. You know, there's plenty of evidence um, we can find in the world without having to turn to the Bible um, to explain, you know, why we believe certain things. You know, we can turn to physics and biology. Don't be afraid to use science. You know, the way I see it, science just, you know, shows us more of God's glory. So, don't shy away from um, conversations and, um, you know, debates. These are great. But, you know, always, always the most important thing, if you've listened to nothing else I've said, always treat that per person with love and respect.